you are welcome back to my channel my amazing friends so this is a continuation of a video we have solved this before using a different method and i promise to solve it using another method okay now this method right now um is going to be um we are going to make use of so many theorems in order to accomplish our goal okay now first of all this is the center of the circle and this is a chord if i if this from here to here is 13 even though this is not drawn to scale okay this is not drawn to scale if i draw a straight line from this center to meet this chord it divides the chord into two equal parts and right angle is formed this is what i mean in a circle okay if this is the center of a circle and you have a chord all right if you draw a straight line from the center of the circle to the chord it forms 90 degrees with the chord and divides the chord into two equal parts so if this is a the meeting point is o and this is b according to this theorem a o that is from here to here is equal to o p from here to here okay so if we apply this theorem here we are going to see that if we draw a straight line this is 13 let me write it here if we draw a straight line from the center of a sec of the circle to this place all right this is not straight okay let me try again if we draw a straight line from here to the center of the circle all right now this straight line is not a straight line <laughs> this straight line divides this circle this chord into two equal parts so it means that this side is 13 over 2 this side is 13 over 2 as well okay that is the first theorem that we want to make use of now let us reason if from here to here is 18 and from here to here is 13 if we should drop something like this it means that from here to here should be 18 minus 13 which will give us five right yes so it means that from here to here is five okay now remember that if we have extrapolate this if we extrapolate this and call this h x can we get the value of x yes we can get the value of x remember that this is also a chord the chord we just formed and if we drop a straight line from the center to this place it's supposed to divide this line into two equal parts now we have from here to here is 13 over 2 right plus 5 so it simply means that 13 over 2 plus 5 should be equal to now from here to here is 13 over 2 plus x right so we have 13 over 2 plus x they should be equal using the bisector theorem called bisector theorem all right now from here let us transfer this plus 13 over 2 to this side of the equation it becomes minus 13 over 2 so we have 13 over 2 plus 5 minus 13 over 2 is equal to x so 13 over 2 minus 13 over 2 will give us 0. So we now have 5 is equal to x. So it means that this side will also be equal to 5. Okay. So we have here to be 5 as well. All right. So we have 5, 13 over 2, 13 over 2, and 5. Okay. So where am I driving at? The question says that we should find the radius of this circle okay now if i should draw a line from here to here if i should draw a line from here to here let me clean this so that it doesn't confuse us but we already know that here is 13 over 2 and here is 13 over 2 okay if i draw a line from here to here then i have two chords like this i have this chord drawing from here to here and another from here to here 
right now using this code now we can see that from here to here is five right yes and from here to here is 18 from here to here is 18 according to the diagram okay because from here to here is 13 and here is five so everything is 18 all right now here we have six and let us find the value of this side okay so now i want to explain cord cord power theorem according to cord cord power theorem it states that when two chords meet each other okay sorry we are talking about chords now if we have chord a as a b and the second chord as c d okay and they meet at this point zero according to the cord cord power theorem it states that a o multiplied by o b is equal to o c multiplied by o d all right yes now if we apply that here remember that from here to here is a chord from here to here is another chord which is what i have drawn and they meet each other at this place so if we apply, apply the cord cord theorem that means that six times five x six times x should be equal to um, five times 18 five times 18 okay so we have six x is equal to 90. do you understand so to get our x then we have to divide both sides of this equation by six so divided by six divided by six we have that x is equal to six we divide this to give us one one remainder three divide 30 to give us five so it means that x is what 15 so this side is 15 all right all right so we don't need this anymore and if we now decide to join from here to this point from here to here we already know that this side is 6 plus 15 we already know that here is 13 and from here to here is diameter 2r right this place is 2r now let us draw the right angle that we just formed if this is the first time you're coming across this lovely channel please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel on your notification bell so that you don't miss our amazing videos all right all right then tune in at your convenience there must be something new for you to watch thank you very much okay now look at what we have let me draw the right angle formed okay and this is 15 oh so it's 15 plus 6 which will give us 21 so here is 21 here is 2r and here is 13 from here to here okay now remember we are going to solve this using the pythagoras theorem now according to pythagoras pythagoras says that in a right angle triangle this side facing the right angle is our radius is our hypotenuse okay and we have the other sides as a and b all right now pythagoras says that h squared is equal to a squared plus b squared h squared is equal to a squared plus b squared okay so that means that we can write this as theorem we have 2 r squared is equal to 13 squared plus 21 squared okay so this is 4 r squared is equal to 169 plus 21 squared is 21 times 21 1 times 1 is 1 1 times 2 is 2 2 times 1 is 2 2 times 2 is 4 so 4 4 1 okay so we have 4 4 1 4 4 1 all right now 4 r squared is equal to 169 plus 441 1 plus 9 is 10 4 plus 6 is 10 plus 1 is 11 4 plus 1 is 5 plus 1 is 6 so let us divide both sides of this equation by 4 if we do that we have 4 r squared divided by 4 and 16 divided by 4 
So if we do that, we will have, before we divide itself and we have R squared is equal to, before we divide 6 to give us 1, 1 remainder 2, divide 21 to give us 5, 5 remainder 1, divide 10 to give us 2, 2 remainder 2, right? Then add 0 in front of the last one to give us 5. So R squared is equal to 152.5. So to get the value of R, which is what we are asked to find, R square root of R squared is equal to the square root of 152.5. Okay? Now, this you can see this, and we have R is equal to square root of 152.5. Okay, we give us um, square root of 152.5, we give us 12.35, okay? Approximately 12.35, just like we got using the other method, okay? Thanks so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.